Hello everyone, welcome back to Automation Engineer channel. Today I will continue with the part 2 of the Cinematic PCS 7. We will create a Cinematic PC station and introduce about the component view and plan view of the project. In the PCS 7 project, we have three view. The first is component view here. The second is plan view. And the third one is a process object view. Firstly, I will talk about the plan view. The plan view show a project with a hierarchy level, which is a logic presentation for a real plan hierarchy. A project can have up to five levels of plan. In the plan view, you can insert the object. Uh, this is the hierarchy folder, and we can insert the CFC, the HFC, the picture and uh, report, and uh, additional document here. Okay, the second view is component view. The component view contains the hardware pack, the bus system, the automation station, and the PC station. Here, for example, we can insert a new object here. Okay. And in the component view, we also have the the program. Okay, and the final view is a process object view. The process object view contains all the engineering aspect of a project, for example, parameter, signal, message, test, graphic image, measure value archive. It provides a central place to edit, edit, and uh, data of a project. Okay, now we will come to detail of the component view. Okay. In this component view, we have our project name here, process AE. And inside the pro project, we have the AS here. And uh, this day we have the, the primary PLC and we have the redundant PLC. From uh, pack 1, I change the model of CPU to 4105S. In the AS, we also have the have two Ethernet communication processor here, CP4431. Okay, now I will assign the simple for I/O module. We come to AS from to hardware. In the part one, we already config the hardware. For the IO, we have the uh, DIDO, AI, and IO. Okay. Okay, I will assign tag for DI first. We right click and we select the edit symbols. Okay, we have the the list of tag here. Okay, I will copy. Okay. And we can put the command here. Okay, and the pump running feedback. And so the pool, pool and uh, data type. And uh, level switch high input. And for example, pasteurizing machine on. Okay. 
okay i will input some example for for the uh, digital input and then we click on okay and for the digital output here we do the same in this point come to the template here for example I will put some example the pump output the pasteurizing machine output speak the tag name is too long so i will past yeah okay the output current here Okay, this is the example that we put the command command here. This is the output of the pump. Copy. the rising machine okay we click on okay and we do the same with the analog input come to the template here This is the process value. This means the feedback speak. I will change the data to integral. Okay. And we put the uh, copy twist. Fueling machine PV want can integer. This is a pump. Copy here and change the top name. Okay, and the same with the analog output. Analog output, we just have uh, four, four channel. Copy the time integral. Okay, for them both that. Okay, so we click on the OK. So it's done for the assign the symbol for the, the I.O. module. Okay, we close it. Now I will insert uh, PC station. We right click on the process, the project name here, insert new object. Select the Cmatic PC station. Okay. I will rename it to 
we name it OS1. Next step the configuration for the OS1. We select the OS and double click on the configuration to open the hardware config. Firstly, we need to select to insert uh, a WinCC application. We come to Schematic PC station here, come to SMI, and we select the WinCC application here. We drag and drop here. The next step we insert the Ethernet adapter for the PC station. We come to uh, the CP Industrial Internet. We come to the IE General and we select the SW version 5.2, uh, 8.2. We drop here. Okay. The setting of the Internet adapter window appear. So we will need to set the IP address for adapter. I will address a 103. And we need to select the Ethernet network of the PUC. We need to connect the OS to the AS. And we select the Ethernet one, the Ethernet network of the PUC primary. After that, we click on OK. We will do again for the uh, OS2 for redundant system. Okay, we close. Yes. Wait for project update. Okay, so now I will insert one OS. Insert new object, Symmetric PC station here. We will rename it OS2. And we come to configuration. Select the Symmetric PC station SMI, the WinCC application here and the uh, Ethernet adapter 8.2 okay select 104 connect to Ethernet to the redundant PUC okay and close it yes
Okay, so it's done. Okay, now I will configure the communication between the uh, AS and OS to let the data exchange between them. The connection we configure on the netpro. Netpro here. This is the the network of our project. Okay, and we go to here. Okay. In this uh, network, we have the Rofi bus. Yeah, and we have the industrial internet and uh, MPI. Okay, I will right click on the Windows application of the OS one. Right click, insert the new connection. Okay. In the connection tie, select the S7 connection here. S7 connection. And I will select the primary PLC and click on apply. The property of the connection appear. We'll let the default name of lo lo local ID here, S7 connection 1. You can see the detail of connection part here. The local is OS1 and the partner is primary PLC. And the network protocol is Ethernet. And here is the, 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 the IP of the local. And here is the IP of the partner. Uh, this is the address of Ethernet adapter and the Ethernet of uh, uh, and the uh, address of uh, Ethernet modules. Okay. Close. Yeah. Okay. The new connection appear. And we do the same with the OS two. We right click, insert the new connection. Select the add by S7 connection here. Select a redundant PUC. Apply. Okay. S7 connection 2. Okay. Close. We save and combine. Combine the chain only. Yes. No error. Yes, we close the net pro. Okay, next step, we will come to the plan view to configure the, the structure of our plan, our project. View, plan view here. We will change the name of process cell to plan 1. The unit one and the unit one first. And the function I will change here is the vowel one. The plan view is a logical representation of project. So the object of the plan has to be assigned to the AS and OS in order to be executed. So one plan folder here will be assigned to one AS and one OS. To do that, right click on the plan folder here. 
select the object properties. You come to the ASOS assignment tab. In the assign IS, we select the the AS primary PUC here. And in the assign of uh, OS, we select OS1. One notch is uh, on lower level here. On lower level object have, have, have the selected assignment. Okay, the same with OS here. Next, I will customize the plan hierarchy to suitable with our project plan. In the plan view, right click on the plan folder here. We come to the plan hierarchy here and select a set settings. Okay, this is the setting of uh, our plan hierarchy. First, the number of hierarchy level. We can select, uh, okay, in this project, I will select five, five level. And we, we will configure five level here. If we take, uh, this is the maximum number of character. This means the, the tag name of uh, the object will, uh, the length, the maximum length of the object name. I will put here. 24 okay copy same the same for file level okay including the high id this mean uh, when we create the valve in the unit one and the unit one in the plan one the tag name of the the valve one is uh, plan one separator unit one and separator and van one okay and with the separator here okay and about the os area i will talk later okay Okay, so it's done for the plan view customize. In the next video, I will go deeply in the plan view and uh, the component view more. See you in the next video.